In this last video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a project in PyDev and Eclipse, and how to create a module or a Python source file to execute within that project. You can follow a pattern pretty much like this to create a project that you use for virtually everything that you do in this class. So, follow along. Now, I've got Eclipse open already, so this assumes that you've already done the initial configuration for Eclipse on your particular machine. Um, for example, you've already um, set it up to use the PyDev perspective, and you've uh, initialized the Python interpreter. So once you've done all that, every time you open Eclipse, you should be ready to go. So if you look over here on the left-hand side, I don't have anything listed here. This is where you'd normally see a list of projects, and within each project, the files or modules. I got nothing here right now. So the first thing I want to do is um, click on that pane and then say, New PyDev Project. And you get to name your project anything you want. It doesn't really matter how you name it. Um, it should be meaningful for the project. I'm going to say uh, make a project for all of the classwork that I do in computer programming. So I've named this project Computer Programming Assignments. And by default, it's going to put that in the workspace directory, and it's going to name the project, well, Computer Programming Assignments. Um, you get to choose the project type, which should be Python. Grammar version as 2.7, that's the latest in the 2 series. And the interpreter should be the default. Everything else should be okay, so click Finish, and it creates the project on the left. So you can click on the little arrow there and see some things in there that are referenced by the project that we really don't care too much about. Um, I'll close all that up again. If I click on the computer programming project name and go back to File, New, I can now create various things within the project. And a simple Python source file, a very simple Python program, would be called a module. And um, one of the options here is called PyDev module. So I'll click that. Now, this is going to be an individual program that might be for an individual challenge in the course or some very specific use. So I'll name it appropriately for that. The very first um, program that most people write when they're working in a new language is called a Hello World program. It's a very minimal thing that just demonstrates that you know how to work with the debugger, work with the code editor, work with the compiler or interpreter, and just get the code to run. So I'm going to name this Hello World. Now, when I'm creating a new module, this dialog opens up, and uh, the first window has the folder for my project. I shouldn't have to change that. A package, which I'm going to skip and ignore, and then a name for the file itself. Now, module names in Python have some rules. I don't know if Eclipse enforces those rules, but I'm going to tell you right now what the rules are. Your um, module name should not begin with a number, um, and the name should not have any um, punctuation marks, and it should not have any spaces, and it should not have any uppercase characters. So, very simple. All lowercase, all rammed together. So I'm going to name this one Hello World, because this is going to be my Hello World program in Python. Uh, Eclipse can create files or modules in Python with various purposes. Um, you can use different templates here, and I'm going to suggest that you actually use the empty template since we're just getting started. Python is very easy to code in, so you don't really need to use any of these things. So I'm all set. I got this, that, this is blank, the name is Hello World, and I've selected empty, so I'm just going to say finish. I'm going to chew on that for a bit. And now my display on the left here has changed. It's opened up my computer programming assignment project, inserted in there an entry for Hello World, and it's changed the name a little bit. I typed in Hello World, and Eclipse added on .py. So a .py extension on a file name indicates that file is a Python module or Python source file. And then if you open that file up in a text editor, you should see Python, Python code. It's human readable, something that you created. And by default, it, does, it did open that file up, and it's displaying that file in the middle of the screen. If I double click on the top of that window bar, it should maximize the window. So now I've got most of my screen is devoted to editing this file called Hello World. 
by default, Python and uh, PyDev and in Eclipse has created an empty file with a short comment at the beginning. The comment says when the file was created, and it's also uh, saying who it thinks the author of that is, and it's grabbing that from the, the login name for this computer, which is me. So I'm going to write a very simple program in Python using the print command, and then inside quotes, hello world, I'll put an exclamation mark in there, so it's hello world, hello world, hello world, okay, so there it is, if I do uh, command s or file save, that'll save the change that I made to hello world into my project. Now, I want to run the program. So I've got a couple choices. Up here at the top of the window is an icon called Debug As and another one for Run As. A program like this, you could run it. Um, I don't expect to have any trouble with it. If you're running a complex program and you want to be able to step through the instructions one by one and maybe inspect the contents of objects as you're running the program, you want to run it from the debugger, which means clicking the little bug icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click the run because I am confident that I won't have any trouble with this. Now the first time you run a program, Eclipse and PyDev asks you um, which way do you want to run your program. And without getting into the details of what a unit test is, I'm going to say you're going to use Python run. It's very simple, pretty obvious, and click OK. And a little uh, rearrangement of my views there. Um, the program ran. When I ran the program, it created a console window at the bottom of the screen. And the string that was in this print statement from the program itself appeared in the console. And then that was the conclusion of the program. If I wanted to run this in the debugger, I can double click on this gray bar over here. That creates a breakpoint go back up here, click on the bug icon, debug, and this actually is um, by default would use a new perspective called the debug perspective, which you normally want to do. So there's going to be a lot more information visible on the screen. Things get really complicated. And it begins executing my program, which is over here, and it gets the point in the execution where it reaches this print hello world. And it stops. There's a little arrow on the left to show that that's where Python is actually looking right now. And the console just says that PyDev debugger has started. So actually, we run the program, and it's paused on a line in the program waiting for us to continue. Now, this is not going to be a detailed debugging tutorial. So I'm just going to say that in order to continue with this, we want to um, choose one of these options. Ah, here it is. This button, this is a resume. It's going to continue a resume operating. If I click this, and uh, execution continues. If you look in the console in the lower left, it went ahead and printed hello world, and then uh, it terminated. And the status of its execution is shown in this window where it says it's terminated. Um, if you want to, you can continue to edit your program here in this debug view and run it again in the debugger, or you can switch back to the main PyDev code editing view. So that's the basic process. Um, as you add more programs that you want to execute in your project, you can go up and highlight computer programming um, assignments and create new PyDev modules. I'll say um, second assignment or second hello. Try that. Finish. And now I have another program here. Mm. Hello again save that and execute it. And it says at the bottom in my console, hello again. So you can imagine in your computer programming assignments project that you could have a whole collection of Python, short Python programs that you'll be using to complete assignments in the computer programming course. So that's it. Go write some code. Have some fun.